Hi guys, welcome back to Sherman's Kitchen. I want to wish all my YouTube friends and family a happy Boxing Day. I should say Boxing Night. And I hope everybody had a wonderful, wonderful Christmas Day yesterday with their family and to have all the goodies around Christmas time. So I just want to share what we did on our box, um, Boxing Day this year. So it was a day that we uh, sleep in. We had a little bit of snow. I'm gonna share that we did a little bit of shoveling and we eat leftovers. And what we usually do is play games with our family or watch movies. So I'm gonna share that with you guys. And I want you guys to leave in the comment and let me know what you guys normally do on a boxing day or boxing night and how you spend your Christmas holiday. So. Let's get into this video and I will share what I did today. And this is what we do on Boxing Day. Open Mom. more presents. Look! Oh! I'm eating my leftovers today. So before we start playing our games tonight, I'm gonna be making um, eggnog, homemade eggnog. And this is something my grandma taught me how to make. So this would be a non-alcohol eggnog. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I have six eggs in here. I'm gonna put it into my blender and I'm going to add half a cup of brown sugar. So I'm going to start mixing the sugar and the eggs. I'm just going to pulse my bl blender until it's all mixed. <laughs> The sugar and the eggs is all mixed up. I'm gonna add a teaspoon of vanilla extract. In you go. And then I'm gonna, the star for this eggnog is nutmeg. So I'm gonna grate about a teaspoon of nutmeg in here. And this would really enhance the eggnog. Uh, my grandma taught me this since I was a little girl growing up and I always remember to make this and when every time I make eggnog and I smell the smell of eggnog I remember my grandma she is unfortunately no longer around but I really do miss her every time I make eggnog I think of her so strongly so I have four cups of milk that I'm going to be adding to the um, egg and uh, sugar. And now I'm going to mix this again. So that eggnog and the, um, I mean the vanilla extract and the nutmeg will get to mix all over. So while I'm putting on the stove, I will add my eggnog mixture to a pot on the stove because we have to warm this up a little. And guys, this is an ingredient just like when you're making custard except for we're not baking this. So we're just gonna warm this up slightly and then we're gonna add it to our fridge to chill for a little and look how nice and frothy it is it's like rich and creamy so this would be a non-alcohol eggnog you can also add some brandy or some whiskey to this and make it an alcohol eggnog but please remember to cook this on a medium heat medium to low heat so it's not going to cook the egg inside of the milk so as soon as you feel that warm temperature, you're gonna turn off your stove and then leave it to cool off a little and put it into your fridge because eggnog is served cold. I remember when I was young, we used to drink ours warm as well. 
so now it is just about warm you don't want it to be boiling hot because we don't want the egg to start cooking and I'm gonna take it off now because I test it and you notice on the spoon it's starting to look a little bit thick so I'm gonna strain this out for any um, egg pieces or anything like that so we can have a smooth one and I'll leave it to cool down and then put it in the fridge about one and a half to two hours to get cold and then I will serve this so now I have my strainer over my measuring cup and I'm just gonna strain it like that into the measuring cup I hope I don't have more than yep yeah. It's going to be more because I added the eggs. So I'm going to have to put the strain the rest into a different um, container. But look here. See, that's how, how thick it is on the spoon. That's how you know that it's done. And you can um, turn your stove when it starts looking like that. Turn it off. So I'm going to put this to cool down. And then I'll pour the rest in another dish. These are pretty cool now. So I'm going to put them in my fridge for a little until they're nice and chill and then I'll take them out back to serve them. In the meantime, while that's cooling off in the fridge, we are gonna start our game tonight. Let me know who remember this game. I'm trying to teach my daughters how to play. Tell me in the comment if you remember this game. This was my favorite game in school with my friends if you can remember this you were as old as me if you can then you are way younger than me so this here is so much fun and this is called jacks what you can't space it out i'm showing you right nally then you pick two up then you go two after you picked, so I did one first. You're so good. I'm very good at it. I'm telling you. Oh, God. As soon as I thought, so I'm out. So now you got to throw it and pick one. Throw the ball and pick one. This is so much fun. You got to catch the ball. <laughs> Try again. I gave you another chance. Come closer. You, you, you put this, put this here. You put, throw the ball up and pick one. No, like this, okay. this, this, okay. this. Look at me. Put it back. So you do this, look, throw it up and then pick, catch the ball. Then throw it up, bounce it once and then catch the ball, okay? okay. So I went to buy this specially to show you guys this game because I know a lot of you will remember this. And I used to be very, very happy when I get one for Christmas. Are you sure? Okay, so I'm at two, right? Now I'm, I have to pick up two. So two. This is so much fun. Jess, you want to play? Uh, See, now I'm on three, okay? So you try to pick them close together so you don't have to stretch your fingers far. So I'm going to take those. And then I'm going to do these this ones. Is so cool. This is so cool if you know how to play it. And, the and then one. one goes by itself. Now four of them. So I'm going to try to do four together. Ooh, they're very fine though. That's why. And then two and then i'm gonna do five now so i'm gonna take these five Woo, I, I, i'm out so you natalie no, <laughs> one so i'm a five okay um do i have to do um one so yeah try yeah and then throw the ball up and pick one i i can give you can I, try again? I can give you um a chance to catch the ball with two hands if you want okay i'll catch the ball with two hands this is so much fun guys let's play i want to play with you guys come on Okay, so so throw it up here. No, oh, okay, I'm try, like it. this, like this. I'm gonna teach you till you get it. So you may look. You put up, let it bounce, then catch it and pick one up. That's so. No, not all. <laughs> yes, not all. <laughs> not all. I got all. Jess, let me show you. Yes, you don't roughly. Can I try mine? Let me let me show you. Okay. You have to get one. Hey, mom. Please. You gotta pluck. First of all, you gotta take one at a time. So you throw the ball. Pick one and let it bounce and then catch it. So throw, bounce and catch. It's okay. Bounce and catch. Oh. Bounce and catch like that. So Can I? you do two, four, six. Do see if you try all, it's not it's not easy when you're learning, okay? So you put yeah. it like that. And then you go one at a time. Then after one you go two, okay? Okay. So now you try throwing it. Two, four, five, six. Throw it again. 
Yes, you have to throw it. And if you can do it with a one hand catch, yeah. you can try catching with yeah. two hands, okay? Yeah. And then when you're throwing it, you gotta make sure you're throwing it that it's not touching you. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna throw it out like this. This is it's clear here. That's so you I go do. like that, okay, Jess? Mm -hmm. Clear, you pick, bounce, catch. Mm -hmm. Pick up, bounce, catch, like that, okay? So here, try again. Okay, sorry. Okay. You gotta do it with one hand. Can I try yes, after? throw it out first. I mean, can I try after? Yeah, you can try after. One at a time. One. did you play cards so we are actually playing with our new packs of golden cards that came all the way from dubai this was a gift to us so we're gonna they're so so smooth and they're very very nice and golden this one looks like christmas decoration so we're playing for the first time with it and i can't wait so i love to play play trip child so that's what we're gonna start with Seems to be is, is this one. So our eggnogs are ready. I'm gonna pour them out. Look how nice and rich and creamy that is. I'm gonna grate some extra nutmeg on the top. 
and it was a very very fun night for us we laugh we shout we play all the nice old-fashioned game right jess how about the jacks i love that one who enjoyed the jacks me, me. And who enjoyed the um card was game so i wasn't fun. really good at it but i still like the game so let me put some fresh nutmeg on the top nutmeg always tastes good with eggnog mm -hmm. yeah so you can serve these up with some um cinnamon stick but i don't think we want cinnamon stick tonight right so we're just gonna have them the nutmeg just like that with the nutmegs and it, it so is cool. smelling yummy 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 mm. cheers to our eggnog <laughs> mm. it's so good so good what it tastes like it is like sponge cake but like in a in it a tastes like way. the batter of the sponge because, cake because you know why the nutmeg that I put into here is the same um, flavor for the nutmeg that I put in the sponge cake because sponge cake have the brown sugar and the eggs as well. So that's why, but it indeed tastes good, right? Yeah. So cheers. It's like cake. For all my cake. viewers and all my subscribers, if you never made your own homemade um, eggnog, this is so simple. Please give it a try. My grandma taught me about this. And if you know of um eggnog from back home let me know in the comment below what you used to call it and i will tell you what we used to call ours we never used to call it eggnog so let me know in the comment box if you like this video tonight please give us a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe until then we are saying good night for now please stay safe and blessed and bye for now